Welcome back to Waves. News making waves as of now are an Asia-based non-vessel operating common carrier and freight forwarding network, the famous Pacific Shipping Group, is on the hunt for new members. 2009 saw a significant expansion of the FPS network despite the tightening global freight market and the group made significant inroads into established and emerging markets with the strategic appointment of the general agents in Mediterranean, Central Europe and the Middle East. Moving on, the Alang Shipbreaking Yard has dismantled over 5,000 vessels since its inception in 1982, according to the Gujarat Maritime Board. As of September 30, 2009 last year, the yard had dismantled 4,970 ships. In October and November 2009, the yard recycled a further 49 vessels leading the figure to cross the 5,000 ship milestone. In the 2008-2009 fiscal year, Alang dismantled 264 vessels. Vishnu Kumar Gupta, the president of the Ship Recycling Association of India, said that there were four months left to the current fiscal year and that he hoped that the current fiscal period would prove to be better than the previous year. An analyst from China Shipbuilding Information Center said that the price war could be triggered any time taking Jiangsu Rongsheng Heavy Industries order for 12 VLCCs for an example. The analyst Liang Yong explained that when Campia Valley de Rio Dolce ordered the VLCCs from Jiangsu in July 2008, they were priced at 140 million US dollars per unit. One year later, the price had dipped to 120 million dollars per unit. In November 2009, they were worth 110 million US dollars per unit. With the global economy on the mend, Order books are still slow to fill up the long term and Mr. Liang said that in 2010, a price war would be inevitable. Well, that's all the news making ways as of now. See you tomorrow.